Speed skater Kelly Gunther has been flying on ice since she was just six years old. One goal always in mind, making it to the Olympics. In 2010, Gunther thought she had done just that. After clocking the fastest time in trials, Gunther was named to the Olympic team. U.S. speed skating even announced her win on Twitter. But shortly after, a ruling reversed Gunther's win, and she was bumped from the team. Her Olympic dream gone. Gunther was crushed. And the obstacles didn't stop there. Just months later, Gunther fell during a race. Her blade cut into her ankle, nearly severing her foot from her leg. Doctors said she'd never skate again. But a determined Gunther refused to listen. And after four years of extensive rehab and grueling training sessions, Gunther's Olympic dream became a reality. She is now on her way to Sochi, where she will compete as a member of the women's Olympic speed skating team. That comeback, incredible as it is, is not over yet, Kelly Gunther says. She's now having to choose between completing her Olympic dream and going into debt. Lynn Berry sat down with Gunther to talk about the setbacks that she's faced from 2010 to now. Before we get into Sochi, I know you're preparing to head off there. I want to talk about 2010 because this was almost a dream you never even had the chance to try out and fulfill. Tell us what happened. 2010 was pretty crazy for me. Uh, you know, being thought I was named to the team and, you know, you know, having my dream come true right then and there. And then just kind of have it all taken away. You know, just seconds right after, you know, you had made the team. It was pretty crazy. This injury was not just a simple pulled muscle. You had basically your blade sever your ankle almost all the way off. What happened? Uh, you know what? I, I really don't know what happened. It was just kind of way that I hit the pads and fell. Um, my ankle, my torque of my body kind of just to torque my ankle, like, totally off. Uh, I just remember laying on the ice and just being freezing cold and facing the direction actually where I just came from, you know, on my stomach and literally having my ankle hang off my leg. I had really had no idea, you know, it was that bad. I knew my ankle was broken, but to the point that, you know, it could have been amputated, I had no idea about that um, for about another year after that. So, you know, just be, being back on my feet is just something incredible to me. And, you know, I think people may not realize when you say start working again, you know, you're not getting paid to do this and you actually don't get any money um, going to Sochi. And you're now faced with the reality of going into debt to fulfill a dream. <laughs> um, and you're actually trying to raise some money through the website rallyme.com. You have a goal of $20,000. Talk to me about sort of what it is that you are raising this money for, what it will cover and, and what the response has been so far. Yeah, it's been a long journey. It's been a long road. Um, my Rally Me page is, uh, I'm trying to get my mother and coach, you know, to be able to go um, to Sochi with me. It's been my mom's dream ever since, you know, I first stepped on the roller rink at six years old. Um, she's a single mom. We've, you know, it's always just like been her and I together. And it's just, I'm, you know, I want her to be there in the stands. So when I step on the ice for the first time, my first Olympics and be able to look at look up there and you know see my mom there and support me it's just something you know words can't even say when you were just four years ago facing the possibility of never being able to put a mm -hmm. pair of skates on again and today you are planning your trip to Sochi to try and see this dream realized emotionally what is that like <sighs> You know what, there's so emotions going through there. Uh, you know, like you said, thought I was going in 2010 and, you know, actually living my dream, you know, four years later and, and being on my skates, you know, being on my feet racing. I have so many emotions going through my head. It hasn't really actually even set in totally that I'm even still going to the Olympics. So I think that moment that I walk through um, opening ceremonies and actually know um, I'm here, I'm ready, I'm ready to race is just... I can't wait for that moment. <laughs> I never lost sight of those Olympic rings. I, I saw them every day. I lived it every single day that I was there, you know, for you know, summers in and out. It was just, you can't lose sight of your dreams, and I never did. You never did, and we hope those dreams are realized there for you in Sochi. Kelly Gunther, <laughs> thanks so much for being with us. Best of luck to you in the Olympics. No, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks again for having me.